Hi, welcome to Willis Garage. I have all these small pieces of MDF. They are cut in different speeds and different cut heights and different speeds. So watch this video for the result. Today I'm going to show you how different feeds and speeds will influence your cuts in MDF material. I made a 4x4 carve here where I have different cut depths and uh, different speeds on each piece. When I was finished carving out the pieces, I marked them with a permanent marker just so I would know which piece was which. Then I loosened the pieces with a screwdriver and took them to my table. Here I made a chart so I would know which piece had which speeds and feeds. The first four pieces had a cut depth of 0.5mm, second four pieces had a cut depth of 1mm, then I had 2mm and the last one was 3mm. Now let's check out the first four pieces. The first one has a speed of 500mm per minute, the second one has a speed of 1000mm per minute. The third one has a speed of 1500 mm per minute and the fourth one has a speed of 2000 mm per minute. If you compare the pieces, you see it's a nice carve. You can see the layers of 0.5 mm, but they all look fine and they all can be used. Now let's check out the next four pieces. Here I used the same speeds, but the cut depth here per pass is one millimeter. As you see, all the cuts went well, and if we compare the pieces, we can see the layer height of one millimeter. The cuts came out good, and I think I can use this uh, this setting if it's not going to be a nice piece. Then let's check out the next four pieces. Here I have a cut depth of 2 mm per pass and the speeds are the same as all the other pieces. You can hear the CNC machine is struggling a bit. If we compare the pieces together, we can see the layer height of 2 mm and we can see the rough edges. This is not a good cut. This cut is fresh. So let's check out the last four pieces. Here I had a cut depth of 3 mm per pass. The speeds are the same as all the other pieces. You can see and hear the CNC machine is struggling. Yeah, let's check out these pieces side by side. You see the layer height of 3 mm and you see the rough edges. Now let's compare the first piece and the last piece together. The first piece has a cut depth of 0.1 mm and a feed rate of 500 mm per minute. The last one has 3 mm cut depth and a speed of 2000 mm per minute. I clearly see which piece I would use. Yep. 
if we compare the sizes of the two pieces, you can see that the last piece is smaller than the first piece. Remember, these pieces should be the same size. This is an indication that the CNC machine was struggling. Here I'm comparing the first four pieces with a cut depth of 0.5 mm and different speeds. They look the same, but you can feel the difference in the texture. Then I put all the pieces in chronological order after each other, so I could compare them to each other. Here you can clearly see the difference and you see the roughness of the cuts as the depths and the speeds increase. I hope you learned something with this video. And remember, all these cuts are made on my DIY CNC machine. Here you have the series for building that machine. And the cuts are done with a cheap 400 watt Chinese spindle. I'm going to change this spindle in a later video. That was it for this time. Please subscribe, like or dislike this video. Comment down below if you have any questions or comments on my videos. Please check out my Facebook and Instagram for behind the scenes information. On my webpage you can get all the diagrams, pictures and stuff like that. And download 3D models, everything on my projects. Until next time, goodbye. This cut is fresh. <laughs>